Mary departs for school on a bicycle at an average rate of 6 miles per hour. Her sister Kate leaves 15 minutes later and cycles at twice that speed. How long will it take Kate to catch up to Mary? Let's begin by identifying our variables. Let's let t represent the amount of time it takes Kate to catch up to Mary. Here I recognize this as a distance problem. Distance equals rate times time. And when you have distance problems, it is often best to first organize your data in a chart. OK, so here's the chart. Let's go ahead and try to fill it in as best we can. Mary departs for school at an average rate of 6 miles per hour. So we're going to put a 6 here under the rate column for Mary. 6 miles per hour. Her sister cycles at twice that speed. So if Mary is cycling at 6 miles per hour, Kate is cycling at 12 miles per hour. We'll put a 12 there. Now remember, t is the time that it takes Kate to catch up to Mary. So by the time she catches up, um, she'll be cycling t hours. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. To put in the time for Mary, we have to read this carefully. Kate leaves 15 minutes later. So Kate would have been, by the time she catches up to Mary, would have been cycling less time, 15 minutes less time. That means Mary would have been cycling 15 minutes more time than Kate when Kate catches up. So it's tempting to put here t plus 15 minutes. The problem with that is the rate was given as miles per hour. So our time has to be in hours. To do this, we convert 15 minutes to hours. And we know 15 minutes is 1 quarter of an hour. So for the time here, we're going to put in t plus 1 quarter of an hour. Okay, Mary would be cycling 15 minutes longer than Kate when Kate catches up. Okay, once we get past that hurdle, we can fill in the distance column by multiplying rate times time. So here, the amount of distance Kate traveled is represented by 12t, 12 times t. The amount of distance Mary traveled can be represented by 6 times t plus 1 quarter, rate times time. So when Kate catches up to Mary, they both would have traveled the same amount of distance. So this distance column defines our algebraic setup. In other words, the distance Kate would travel would be equal to the distance Mary traveled, so t plus 1 quarter. This here is our algebraic setup. We could solve this if we first distribute the 6. Doing that, we'll be left with 12t equals 6t plus 6 over 4. Subtracting 6t on both sides, we're left with 6t equals, well, 6 over 4 reduces to 3 halves. And then at this point, we can divide both sides by 6 leaving us with t equals 3 halves times 1 sixth, which reduces to 1 fourth. OK, so t equals 1 fourth of an hour or 15 minutes. Now remember what t was. t is the time it takes Kate to catch up to Mary. So all that's left to do is answer the question in sentence form. It takes Kate 15 minutes to catch up to Mary.